What's happening, people? This week we're going on Sick Summer, a uh, Dragon Drive event put on by Sick the Mag. If you're not familiar with Dragon Drive events, it's a it's a week long event. You drag race, and then you drive to the next track and drag race. So every day a new track, and then you got to drive hundreds of miles. This one's gonna take us about eight nine hundred miles, I think, in the Midwest, Cordova, Byron, Great Lakes, Tri State, back to Cordova, five days. We put ourselves in the bullseye class, so every day they pick a random number and you have to get as close without going faster to that. How do you, how do you explain the bullseye? So say they pick a 25, you can run a 1325, 1425, whatever, gets close to that without going below it, otherwise it counts towards the next one down. So if you ran a 1424. Then it counts towards a 1325, and we are That's not good. as far away from it as you can get. It's not good at not all. Not good at all. We did that class because we have no idea what this thing is going to run, and we're not going to be competitive. We're just going to have fun. Sunday is registration and tech inspection, so let's get out there. We're here at Cordova Dragway in wherever the hell Illinois. Oh, Cordova, Illinois. Right? <laughs> that was a rough ride. This hurts. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're here. So we're gonna unload, put the tires on, and go get tech inspected, you know. See if we're driving home today or <laughs> we're gonna do some running tomorrow. What are the odds they pass us in tech? 100%. 100? That one guy passed us. <laughs> so, we'll you know, sit. we just gotta be in line by one o'clock though. We don't have to be tech by one, we just have to be in the line because they close the line. So. The sooner we get in there, the sooner we get out, I reckon. We should shoot for the last person. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. By the time, they're just like, I get, I don't care. <laughs> just go. Just try not to die. All right, let's swap some tires. So make your plans accordingly. How you feeling? Well, I just did my first pass. Um... We were tuning at the same time, so it, it wasn't, you know, it's not dialed in yet, but it ran a 15.06, which is really, <laughs> that's really slow, at 70 miles an hour, but uh, every gear was a little sketchy, and then fourth gear just kind of, so once we get it dialed in, it should go a lot faster. The first half felt, you know, well, I don't know how, how these things work. I did, yeah, 60 port. I, I did a 9.18 and an 8, that seems really slow. Is that slow? I don't know. We have to put it in the calculator. It's 77. And then, it, yeah, see? <laughs> you got see? slower? Yeah, I told you. It slowed down. Like, what it was doing? pulling to the 8th, and then it just stopped. Yeah. So I just coasted all the rest of the way, pretty much. So it's going to get a lot faster. So we're just sandbagging now. Just sandbagging? Unintentionally. <laughs> all right, well, that's it. There's no more tests today, because... Uh, well, there's just not enough time, so we're gonna we're gonna camp here tonight, and then uh, we'll pick this up in the morning. So we ended up having enough time to make another test pass, and we ran a 1385, uh, which is a lot better than the first whatever 15 something that one was. That was that was atrocious. 1385 for the second test pass. Again, the car wasn't tuned yet. We were still tuning it, and I had never drag raced before. Still learning how to drag race. You got a little goblin kick car. Left side of the racetrack. This is Nathan Meski. Messi will stage up this time against the 1986 Ford Mustang. So day zero is done. We we did our test passes. We got tech inspected. We're good to go for racing tomorrow. So tonight we're going to camp at the track. 
out in the back 40, so we're ready to go in the morning. Camping's not great. You don't like camping? Well, I didn't like this camping. Why? Like 40 degrees in. All right, so this guy blanket. came wildly unprepared. He brought nothing. No blankets, no sleeping bag, no air mattress. I assume no. the guy bringing the tent would be providing, you know. You did not assume shelter. that. You're just changing your story now. <laughs> convenient. Convenient. Real convenient. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. All right, it's day one. The number for today is a 25, so we're going to try and run a 1325, see how that goes. Uh, a and B group already ran, C group's in the line, so we're up next. We're going to suit up and go see what it does. Let's do this. Miss second gear completely. I don't know if you saw that. Um, but we did a 1390 at 100. We got 100 miles an hour. That's what, well, the second gear was atrocious. Like I sat there for five seconds trying to find it. So I can't, sh I think I might turn the rev limit down at first or something. Because uh, I can't wind it out that much. I gotta just. What if I launch in second? No, it doesn't make enough torque to launch in second. God, I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna turn it in, hit the road. Just throwing people with Amnon. Well, we were driving along. We lost gauges, so we knew something was up, but we figured we'd just keep going. And then as soon as we slowed down, it didn't want to accelerate again, so that was fun. And then it started popping and. Uh, so we pulled over. Now we get to diagnose it. We're right here on the side of the highway. We'll be able to see everybody else pass by. Yeah, be like, hey, how you doing? Cool, 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 cool. We're gonna start with fuses. See if we lost data connection or something, I don't know. Well, the gauge has come on now. So, we're just gonna try and send it. See what happens. Yeah, see what happens. Worst case scenario, it blows up, right? Yeah. What are the odds it's a dead battery? You Sorry. remember all that squealing I was complaining about? Yeah. What are the odds it was the alternator? Oh, it seized up? Well, it's not seized, but what if it was making noise and now it's. You know, that wasn't charging. Wait, let's just make sure all the connectors are on it, you know? Uh, that's pretty loose, though. Well, it appears that both of the alternator cables were loose somehow. The one on the starter appears that the nut bottomed out before they were tight, and the one on the alternator may have rattled loose, not sure. Um, we got a replacement alternator, but the connector's different. So I think we're gonna take that back right now. But we got a new battery, so we'll have enough juice to see if this alternator's good. Um, once we're charged, we can plug the the laptop in and see what bolts we're at when it's on. And we're at 14, then we're back to charging, so we're good to go. So the plan is to find a couple washers so that we can get that nut properly spaced, slam back together, and put the rope. It's hot as shit out here, though. Oh, okay. So uh, we miss uh, incorrectly installed an alternator, possibly, and uh, you know none of the juice is going from the alternator to the battery, so. Uh, now we got a new battery and we fixed the alternator mishaps. So hopefully we'll be ready to go for the rest of the week now. 
is a terrible way to put this, but it's in the way the way it goes. Nothing. I'm going six miles down the road, right? With the bugs? That's a terrible idea. We have to return this damn altar. Well, we just passed the drag strip down there, Byron Dragway, and it seems like we lost battery power again. The gauges went dead. In fact, she's dead. Again. It's the alternator. It's not doing shit. Alternator's done. So, let's swap that out again. Day two. All right, day two, six summer. We're at Byron Dragway. So the car seems fixed. We got here. Alternator seems good. We got unloaded. We're ready to go. We're running A and B class now, and then we're up next. So and they call it we'll see how it does. Twelve seconds later. Well, hello there. Coming to you from Byron Dragway, where it is pissing down rain for the third time today. They called it. So we're just gonna sit here, ride it out, before we proceed on. Hopefully that's not the entire night. We'll see you soon. Okay, so day two sucked. We got there on time, ready to go, and then it rained out. So we hung out for a couple hours, waiting for the rain to quit. And then when it finally did quit, we hit the road and got soaking wet. And we headed off to Great Lakes. Got there. Plenty of time to spare. Nice, easy drive. Day three. All right, we made it to day three of six summer. We're at Great Lakes Dragway today. We're in the lanes already. Early start, we got the first run group. Hopefully we can make a pass today. No rain. The skies are clear, so no rain. We'll be good. Hopefully it goes quick though. We're shooting for 13-11 uh, today. Thirteen forty-seven. So not quite the thirteen eleven we were shooting for, but the fastest. Ninety miles an hour again. I have called A and B group slick and A and B group. Yeah, I kind of let out. It was making some noises. A and B group I was like, nah, it's not the shoot. You just let out. And A and B group. Okay. Well, we'll turn this in, pack it up, and hit the road. See you in um Tri-State in Iowa. In the Later. Toyota Tacoma. Day four. All right, day four, Tri-State Raceway in Earlville, Iowa. It was a nice drive yesterday. Long drive, that was by far the longest drive so far. Felt like shit. Yeah, this car's not very comfortable. You can get one of those, uh, what do you call it? Suspension seats like the uh, semi-trucks have. Yeah, that'd be nice. That'd be good. That'd be real nice. Yeah, a necessary upgrade for the next Dragon Drive. Oh, we're doing it again? 
Probably not with this car. <laughs> Today's bullseye number is 54, so we're probably going to shoot for a 12.54, right? Yeah, it seems to be running the 12s. Yeah. 11.54 would be ambitious. Wow. 11.54. We probably won't run that. No. We're shooting for a 12.54 today. So, head up to the lanes. Today was a bit hectic, but we're back to Cordova Raceway. Uh, day five is tomorrow uh, at uh, Tri-State. Today I ran a 12.98 at 107, which is a lot better than it has been in the last few days. So we're getting there. Let's we'll see what we can do tomorrow. Hopefully for what a 12.5 maybe. That'd be sweet. 12 even. Ooh, 12 flat. You're wild. <laughs> well, our exhaust is not doing too well here. So. Uh, We'll get that fixed before we drive home tomorrow, I think. Put some duct tape on that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, thanks. Whoopsies. Nice. Kind of worked for a little while. I don't know how it's put on the side. And all that stuff's not meant to be used as uh, automotive exhaust. Note to self. All right. Last day of six summer. Hopefully we go quick today. I don't know what we're gonna change. I think we're still gonna launch in second. Maybe just higher RPM or something. I don't know. Try and slip the clutch a little bit. Hopefully it goes faster than yesterday, but I'm not I'm not too um, confident in that happening. So all we gotta do is make a pass and we finished. I guess that's the goal. Just finish for now. It's been a fun week though. So let's go, let's go up there. They called our, they called our group, let's go make a pass. See what it does. All right, we're up, let's do this. Twenty-six at 108. <laughs> the reaction time was terrible. 0.992, but it doesn't add it to my time. All right, and that'll do it for six summer. We had a good time. Did you have a good time? Oh yeah, just super tired. You Mildly know. uncomfortable. It was a long time. week. A lot of sun. A lot of sun. I was like, at least you get a lot of fresh air. Yeah. Sure, nice to get out of it every once in a while. In the noise, you know, the noise is just ear piercing. Ear piercing. Your ears just. Mind just numbing, ringing. just yeah, you no. get all the vibration, you get all the noise, you get all the sun, you get all the heat. If they had a gavelin, should they, you know, drag and drive it? Or should you drag case? and drive your goblin? <laughs> yes. Also, pull no. a cobalt. You know, don't get rid of your donor. Cut that some in half. Wall the frame into it. Yeah, build a trailer out. By. Everybody likes. Trailer. Everybody likes the trailer. So the car got faster, you know? Every day it got faster. It Every day it got plus. faster. Although so. someone's going to be like, well, I don't know, but on day one. It, it seemed like he was kind of 50 foot in it at first, you know? It was not me. 
<laughs> was it you? Who was it? Me? Who was driving the car? All right. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe because we're doing more events real soon. See you in the next one.